Okay, um, all praises to you. How about she never shy? Devon or somebody else, GMS. Um, right now I'm about to go through a few scriptures, all right? Basically, uh, teaching. Because, you know what? You got these guys. They can't wrap it around their, wrap it around their mind that the Lord is only dealing with the elect. The Lord is only, he's only dealing with the elect. He's only going, going to, um, deliver the, the elect, you know, the Lord is not dealing with everybody, man, okay, I'm just going to pull out a few scriptures, okay, because everybody cannot get the understanding of this scripture, but who, but the elect, only the elect can receive this, that's all and that's it, okay, uh -oh, I'm about to go to Romans, the 11th chapter, And it says, uh, so Romans 11 and 7. It says, What then? Israel have not obtained that which it seeketh for. All right. And it's talking about what? The two thirds of our people. They haven't obtained that which it seeketh for. Because Jake naturally have a zeal, you know, for the most high. All right. Or to seek some type of truth. Like them guys, uh, Polite, Cernetta. Them guys seek the truth, but they don't have the truth. That's why they're not of the elect. All right? That's why I say Israel has not what, obtained what, what it seeketh for. So them guys, they can't they can't get this thing, man. Now, it might be the... Now, you might have the elect amongst some of those guys, but majority of those guys, hell, 99%... 99.9% .9 of them guys, hey, man, they're not of the elect, man. They can't get it, all right? They're, they're totally stuck in that shit, man, all right? So what then Israel has not obtained that which you're seeking for, but the election have obtained it, and the rest was blinded. Because you might have a nigga like, uh, who is that, Nate, Yohanna? You don't hear those guys pushing what about the elect? Niggas talking about the blacks, all right? We here to say black people, the black man. But what the hell is that in the scriptures, man? The scriptures speak about the elect, man. That's all that. That's all that's gonna be saved out this nuclear destruction, man. Is the elect. That's it, and that's all, man. You niggas are going off, man. Only people that the Lord is dealing with is the elect. All right. Only people that can understand these scriptures is the elect. Especially the deep things of the scriptures. Alright. It says, uh, According as it is written, The most I have given them the spirit of slumbers, eyes that they could not see, and ears that they should not hear unto this day. Right? And guess what? They can't... They don't got no understanding of this truth, man. They can't hear this truth, man. Because why they're not of the elect. It says, uh... David says, let their table be a snare and a trap. All right? What's the, what's their table? That, that uh, Pan-African shit, man. All right? That, that, that we come from... We, we come from Africa. We're, we're Africans. All right? And the rest of Jake, Jake want to be uh, uh want to be Baptist. They want to be Muslims, you know. That's the table, man. That table is a snare unto them, man. That's why, hey, the Lord made He made a statement in the uh, scriptures. He said, "Hey, man, when this destruction come, run to those gods and see if they can deliver you." You know. So niggas like polite. Hey, nigga, see if see if the African shit. Uh oh, matter of fact, see if the black woman can deliver you. Because you say the black woman is God. Well, in the hour of martial law, let's see if your black woman can fucking deliver you, man. All right? Because the black woman is not God. The black woman is a piece of shit. Okay? It says, uh, David saith. Let the table be made a snare and a trap and a stumbling block and a recompense unto them 
that their eyes be darkened that they may not see. All right, so the Lord got it set up that man, they can't they can't get this thing, man. All right, they can't see it. That's why they, they like I said, they can't wrap their mind around this, man, that we're Israelites. All right? But inwardly, you know, in the back of their mind, they're thinking, hey, you know what, we might be Israelites, man. Hey, because you ask those guys, hey, man, hey, them guys are not teaching about what's coming to America, you know, martial law, famine, you know. They don't, they don't got the answer for none of that, man. But GMS, all right, from the elders on down, is constantly bringing out more and more proof that these things are, are, are um, about to come to pass, you know. Not even just the scriptures, you know, we, we go and research articles, man. We got articles, no facts, hard facts. All right. It says, uh, that their eyes be darkened that they may not see and bow down their back all the way. All right. You stop right there. Now I'm going to go to, uh, it goes Proverbs, the Proverbs. Proverbs uh, Proverbs 8 and 34 Proverbs 8 and 34 It says Bless is the man that hear of me. So the scripture said, Bless is the man that hear of me. Now who is that man that, that hear of the Lord? That's the elect. Alright? Bless is the man that hear of me. And watch up daily at my gates. Alright? Who is this talking? Let's talk about the prophets, man. Alright. Watch up daily at my gates. Alright? Looking for the prophecies going out on the streets teaching. Now where the hell will, will you find the gate at? You will find a gate outside. You ain't gonna find no gate in, 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 in inside your house, man. A gate is outside, so what? That means what? You gotta go in the streets and teach. Alright? It says, Bless is the man that heareth me and watcheth daily at my gates, waiting at the posts of my door. Alright? It says, Hold on. Now, here's a word I looked it up. In that scripture, right? That word here in Proverbs. Let's go into that. Let's go into the Greek of that. Say, uh, this verse 34. I don't, the word here there. That goes back to the Hebrew uh Shama. Alright. It says to hear, to listen, to obey. So you gotta obey the Lord. Alright. To hear. Perceive by ear. It says to hear of concerning to hear have power to hear all right how are you gonna have power to hear all right that's the glory you that power to understand those things all right now this is the point it says uh it says uh to hear with attention or or interest it says to listen it's the point it says to understand all right to understand Jump down a little bit more. Uh, but really, that's the point right there. It says to understand, man. So that's that's plain. It says uh, to listen, give heed. All right? Give heed. Only the elect is going to give heed to the most high. To consent, agree. To grant requests, to listen. To obey. Be obedient. Who's obedient? The elect. To be heard of, to be regarded, to be obeyed. All right, it says, uh, to cause to hear, tell, proclaim. What does this sound like? This sounds like going out on the streets, man. To cause to hear, tell, proclaim. How do you proclaim? All right, God, and you teach. Utter a sound. To sound aloud. All right, musical term. It says, uh. 
it's basically into that, all right? But the point that was in it says what to understand, all right? So for everybody can't understand this knowledge right here, man, except for who the elect, all right? I just want to jump to another scripture. Jump to Ephesians. Jump to Ephesians. And the last scripture I'm going to finish off with is uh, Matthew, the 13th chapter. This is Ephesians. Uh, Uh, if I'm not mistaken, it's the second chapter. All right, uh, crap. All right, it's so Ephesians, the second chapter. Uh, So like you bear with me. Yeah. All right, so like, all right, it's so like it for that, brothers. Uh, this is Ephesians four and eighteen. I start from seventeen. But this I say, therefore, testifying the Lord, that ye henceforth walk not as the other Gentiles walk. In the vanity of their own mind, all right? It's two thirds of our people walk in the vanity of their own mind, all right? It says, having the understanding darkened, all right? Being, it says, having that understanding darkened, which means what? The Lord having opened up their mind to this, all right? So they're not of the elect. Being alienated from the life of the Most High, all right? Through the ignorance that is in them, all right? Because of the blindness of their heart, right? Now, where a heart means what? Mind, okay? So the Lord got them. The Lord got them blinded. All right. They can't get this because the Lord said, because hey, the Lord got it that way, all right? There's no other way to to explain it. The Lord have mercy on whom we have mercy on. So if you ain't another elect, too bad, man. It ain't for you. All right, Matthew 13 and 10. And the disciples came and said unto them, Why well, speak is unto them in parables? Because no way, because when you read the Gospels, all right, Matthew, Luke, Mark, John, that's all you hear is basically just the Lord what? Speaking in parables, all right? Most of the things, probably 99% of the things that the Lord was saying, he he didn't come straight forth out and say it. He just spoke in parables. He didn't just come straight out and say it. All right. The disciples came and said, Why speakest thou unto them in parables? And he answered and said unto them, Because it is given unto you to know the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven. But to them it is not given. All right. For so ever have... To him shall be given, and he sh shall have more abundance. But whosoever have not, from him shall be taken away, even that he have. And that proves the Lord can what? Bug you out and take this knowledge from you, man. All right? Therefore, I speak I to them in parables. All right? Because the Lord, oh, hold on. Because the Lord can actually bring you into this thing, man, and just spew you out, man. You know? It says, uh, therefore I speak I to them in parables, because they see not, and hearing, and hearing they hear not, neither do they understand. Alright? And in them is fulfilled the prophecy of Isaiah. Now you hear what the Lord said, and them is what fulfilled what? The prophecy of what? Isaiah. Alright? The book of Isaiah, which means what? That's that's prophecy, man. It's set up for for some people just not to get this thing. This prophecy. The Lord wants who he wants, alright? 
in, in, in the garbage, hey man, they just, you know, just throw them in the trash can, man. You throw them, in, you throw them into the what, nuclear fire, man. That's how you got it set up, you know? Is that unright, hey, is that unrighteousness with the most high? Hell no, the most high do whatever the hell he want to do, man. This is his program, this is not our program. All right, it says, uh, and then is fulfilled the prophecy of Isaiah, which said, By hearing ye shall hear, and shall not understand, and seeing ye shall see, and not perceive. But this people's heart is wax gross, and their ears are dull of hearing. Their eyes they have closed, least at any time they should not see with their eyes and hear with their ears, and should understand with their heart, and should be converted, and I should heal them. Blessed, but blessed are your eyes. See, the Lord said, blessed are your eyes, which is what the elect, man. So if you you if you can understand this knowledge, you know, and you endure until the end, man, you know, you're the elect, man. But you gotta endure, you gotta endure that man, rather it's death, you know. Brothers is gonna end up in concentration camps, alright, because you can have this truth, alright, but hey, if you take that chip, man, that's it. That's it and that's all, man. Your ass is you 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 through, alright? You ran that race in vain, man. Then it says, uh, Blessed are your eyes, they shall see, and your ears, for they shall hear. For verily I say unto you, that be many prophets and righteous men have desired to see those, see those things which ye see, and have not seen them, and to hear those things which ye hear, and have not heard them. All right? The Lord said there be many prophets, all right, that desire those things. Because back then, the Lord, you know, he gave the prophets those visions, all right? But they didn't understand exactly what they were seeing. So the Lord had to bring them back the second time around, all right? To give them back, to give them, um, that, to give them that understanding. But back then, you know, uh, the, 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 the 12, all right, the Lord is actually breaking it down to them, man. Feeding them. All right? The Lord is actually giving them that, that knowledge, man. So those same prophets, those same apostles, hey, they right back here today, man. Doing the same thing that what they was doing back then. Now they're back here today actually breaking down the book of Joel. Breaking down the book of Amos. Breaking down the book of Zechariah. Breaking down Revelations. All right? Back then it wasn't meant for them to break down. But now this is the time a prophecy a hey, is a hey, Ezekiel 38 is being played out right now. Ezekiel is back. We don't know who it is, but he's back. Okay? And the Lord is coming back soon. All right, and with that, I'm going to say all praises. See how we're watching around Shah. Double I said, Elders GMS, you know. Shalom to all the Akim out there, all right? That's, that's teaching this truth, man. All right?